Welcome to the official YouTube channel for the Colin Coward Podcast. Go on, hit the subscribe button. There it is, so you don't miss any of our football content this season. It has been, if I might say, fantastic. I thought Philadelphia Eagles 37, Bengals 17. I was on the wrong side of this one. Bengals had no run game. And first of all, I thought this was about as important a Philadelphia win, the the way they won. No turnovers. Saquon ran 50% on third down, uh, seven yards of play, nearly. Hurts, again, 10 rushes, 16 to 20, touchdown, no mistakes. This was a game very easily against Burrow. Burrow's a very good first quarter quarterback. Eagles are not a good first quarter offense. This is a game you could have gotten behind and it could have unraveled. But as I watched this game, I had two big takeaways. Philadelphia, it feels like to me, John, you're a former scout for the team and you have good context there. It feels like they're asking Jalen to do less in the passing game. They've just come to terms with, we're not throwing it 38 times. That's not what we're going to be. We're not going to do that. And that's fine. I think, I think the Houston Texans sometimes without Nico Collins kind of feel like we're going to, we're going to, we're going we're gonna to box in what we can do offensively. Let's not put our young quarterback at risk. That was my first take. My second take is, We've always, both of us have felt like Herbert doesn't have the support he deserves, but Herbert now, they've paid for Khalil Mack. I mean, they, they, they paid for Jim Harbaugh. They paid Herbert. They're going to pay Rashawn Slater. Um, they paid Keenan. They paid Mike, Mike Williams. The Chargers have spent money for Justin Herbert. He's had some bad breaks, but we can't call the Chargers cheap anymore. This Cincinnati team, they let go of Mixon. Which, by the way, even even very good quarterbacks need run games, right? Like even the good ones need run games. They've already moved off defensive players a year before they're going to pay pay Jamar Chase. And Higgins I just watched, will be on the team next year. Yep. And I watched Cincinnati, and I thought, you know, we can say what we want about the Chargers, but they have damn good players. They moved off Keenan and Mike Williams because they were older receivers that couldn't stay healthy consistently. They kept Bosa. They kept Khalil Mack. Those are expensive players. They paid Herbert. They're going to pay Slater. They paid Harbaugh. I feel bad for Joe Burrow. I think the Bengals are what the Chargers' reputation was. Like, they won't spend the money. Joe Burrow has... You take Burrow and Chase and that pass rusher off this team, John, they don't have a lot of players in Cincinnati. They don't have a lot of dudes. Yeah, I mean, I I would say this. If they fired their coach tomorrow or at the end of the season, he's not getting rehired. So they have a coach that no one else would want. If we just play that game with most good teams, right? The Eagles have such a good roster because you would say they fire Sirianni, no one's hiring him. That's true. But like, I I do think their coach, once you have less talent, you have to lean on them a little more. Like, why are the Chargers going to end up winning 10 or 11 games? Star quarterback, star coach. It's not because they have a roster like they have, I would say, for a lot of the last 20 years. Joe did miss the throw a little bit short today that led to the interception, and then it yes. snowballed, right? Then they got a touchdown, then they fumbled the kickoff, and it just snowballs, and the Eagles ate him alive. To me, there was a talent gap today overall on the team. Oh, I God, mean, pretty yes. clear. I, I do think the Eagles, and this gets ties into the Giants, who we'll see Monday night, Saquon's elevated their team. He, he's clearly one of the best players in the league. Jalen throws as pretty – I would say, wouldn't you say Jalen is like the 2016 version of Russell Wilson in terms of that deep ball when it's in the air? You think it's going to be completed to one of those two guys? No, and, and we've we've come to realize there are limitations to Russell Wilson, and once he loses sort of the mag- magical elusiveness, you, you get what you can get out of Russell. I think we elevated because of with Steichen, we elevated Jalen Hurts to a level that's unfair. He was a second round pick. He's not a great pocket thrower. I think he throws a pretty deep ball. I think the Russell Wilson comp's very accurate. One's a second round pick, one's a third round pick. And I think I think Philadelphia, it's easy to fall in love with a player because he was so damn good with Steichen. But since he's left, and this is your reality, you know, today was the classic 16 to 20, some runs. I think they just kept the game in front of Jalen Hurts. He's definitely running it a little bit more. And he yep. is a fan. He to me, he's a better runner because of his power than even Peak Russell, who was a really good runner as well. I mean, he's he's got to be one of the more powerful running quarterbacks we've ever seen. He turns into a running back. And then once you get to the goal line, I mean, we've never seen a play like that. I've been watching football for 30-plus years. I mean, they, they get to the one- or two-yard line. It's like an automatic touchdown. There's yeah. nothing you can do. When have we ever seen that? Even if you stop it once, they go right back to it, and, and then they score. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I they've had some injuries on the offensive line, so he was running around a little bit. But I, do I totally trust their defense? Not but their talent. I mean, you get AJ Brown, Devonte, Saquon, him, you, you'll end up getting Goddard back. Like how many lions and the fully healthy 49ers. I mean, there's a short list. I watched the chiefs. It's like, do they have one guy that would start on that team beside like, uh, of their skill guys, <laughs> you know, <laughs> even Travis Kelsey, when he's now at 35 if Goddard's healthy. So you're just, it, it, it is a special and Saquon clearly has this chip of proving himself and he's healthy. I mean, he, today he ran a guy over you get them in the open field. They've had good, you know, they, DeAndre Swift used to be their running back. They've had Miles Sanders in the past. They've never had anything like this. This this feels a little bit like, remember when Jalen was at Oklahoma with Lincoln Riley? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, this feels like a collegiate offense. And the one thing that, that I think slows them down sometimes, the, the coaching staff can kind of get a little tricky. And, and Jalen, yeah. you know, sometimes wants to prove he can be a pocket guy and get himself yeah. in a little bit trouble. But it, I, I thought that second half, that's the best half of football the Eagles have played, it feels like, in two years. No, I, that, that, I literally sat there and I watched. My takeaway was, if you took the best 22 players in this game, Philly's got 17 to 18 of those 22 players. Like, the talent gap. But again, Philadelphia spends money. Jeffrey Lurie, he'll spend money on anything. Weight room, everything. I mean, shit, Cincinnati doesn't have an outdoor practice facility still. They're the only northern team that doesn't. You know, what I wonder is, like, Let's say the bit you know the Bengals end up six or seven wins, right? Obviously, they're in a tough spot now. They fire the coach. Like, what peer is he fishing off to go get his head coach? Historically, it's Zach Taylor's. There weren't a lot of people lined up for him, and he's cheap. Like, he's not talking to the Vrabels, to the Belichicks, to you nope. know the big name guys. That's just not where they're going to go. So, when you sign up, this goes back to Carson Palmer. Like this organization, like a lot of the complaints haven't just been entitled athletes bitching and moaning. This is like, yeah. this is, this shouldn't be this way. No. Nope. And you have to wonder, like, would, it, hell, it took Dean Spanos, who's down in LA around the Dodgers and Lakers, a long time to go, okay, I need a $15 million coach. Yep. And he wants to bring his three, $4 million defensive coordinator. We'll do that too. It's going to be the best thing he's ever done. Because, I, I mean, eventually, if they, I, I trust they'll build the t- thing up. They'll, they, they'll be in a Super Bowl in three years. Yep. And they, they would not have been hiring these four or five million dollar coaches. And I listen, you can't tell me would Joe I, I thought for most of the game, like I was like, God, Joe looks good. And people wouldn't be lined up, but they're also not taking the job for six million dollars. That's right. You're telling me Belichick wouldn't be interested in coaching Joe Burrow? <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't think he would be. You know, John, if, I, if, if the organization paid and they yeah, would listen to I, him, but they, they're not going to change. I mean, I they kept Marvin Lewis forever. I don't think they'll fire Zach Taylor because the Brown family won't pay a dead cap coach money. They won't pay it. They just refuse to pay it. <laughs> 